Hello again YouTube and welcome to another Transformers 2014 BotCon Pirates vs. Nikes bot set video review. Today we're going to be doing Scorponok and of course we've got R. Zarak Jr. which my main issue with Scorponok is there's no place for this guy to sit. Period. I mean, you can sit him up there, but he's going to fall over every time it rattles or you move or anything. So that's why I stuck him in his claw so I didn't lose him. And there you have him in his tank mode. And this one is a triple changer, so this video is going to be a little bit longer, but I'll go through it as fast as I can. Like I said, you got his tank mode here. Pull these out and forward slide his missiles. Give you a quick look at his tech specs. And there's his graphic. The graphic looks a lot better than the uh, figure does, but what can you do? And there's his tank mode. To transform him into robot, actually we're going to do the jet first. And then we'll do robot. Pull them apart. Pull that around. He's kind of difficult to work with because he's just, his joints are super, super stiff. And he's just such a bulky beast. And if you're doing robot mode, this is where his head would go. Cab pop open. And this folds out and that becomes his head. But jet fighter mode, this comes up that and I popped his little cannon off I prefer to leave him in his tank mode because he just displays easier that way. Because, like I said, he's just a monster. All right, we'll get you. We'll set you off to the side, and then these come around, come up. And there you have it, Scorponok in jet mode. 
and then he just rolls along the ground like that. I mean, it's not the greatest in the world, but it's Scorponok. That's what you get. My issue with this one is these, they just, they just flop all over. I wish this joint was tighter. Now to transform them into robot mode, pull his tail back down and around like that. And then you fold it up like that. And then his legs come down. The engine, jet engines fold up and out. And there's a little claw back here that comes out to form his heel. His robot mode is cool. Just right now I don't have any place that to put him that's visible for his robot mode. I'm waiting until I can get some money together and buy another bookshelf. And then these pop out like this to the side a little bit. And then, like I said, you'd pull the cab down and rotate that out if I didn't already do it so you could see it. And then you got Oren here, Zach Jr. And he's even simpler to transform than Tornado was. Just fold him up like that. And plunk him down in the. You can see how he's shaped. He's got only one way he can go. He can't put his head on backwards. And there you go. There's the Scorponok. I know this was kind of fast review compared to my others. I really expected this to take a whole lot longer. As far as posability, eh, he doesn't have a whole lot of posability. I mean, you pose him a little bit. He's just so big of a beast. He really only has one pose. Not much rotation. Zero rotation on any of it, really. His, his, I mean, his legs can rotate, but that's about it. And he just... I think these are supposed to come up and then those go out like that yeah anyway he's just kind of a zero posability which kind of sucks for the price we paid for him but that's what you get that's the hazards of buying stuff like this Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. If you do, hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe.